little late to the party, but welcome to Minecraft again. But it's a 10 year anniversary map. Been waiting to do this a little bit. Uh, so let's look around us. We got background, nothing really interesting there. Oh, the sand temple. We got two chests, see what's in it. Oh, oh the anniversary gold mine card. Heard about these. Really nifty. Pretty cool. Alright, let's head down here. So I have played a little bit of this map, but I don't know too much about it, so let's go. Made sense. 2009, pre alpha. Am I spoiling it? I mean, not. I already told you before. Halloween update to June 30th, 2010. Beta adventure update December 20th, 2010. October 25th, 2012. Pretty scary update. I agree with that. That's the weather. I do not like that. March 13th, 2013. Redstone horses update. I love the horses. October 25th, 2013. Update that changes the world. Bountiful update. February 29th, 2016. Combat Frostburn update. Number 14, 2016. Exploration update. Leg. June 7th, 2017, World of Color Update. June, July 18th, 2018, Aquatic Update. And they forgot about the Villager Update. Come on, what is the Villager Update? Come on. It's like the newest one. Alright, so we've got to see your code, it seems. Let's have a look. Got the vault and the map. Oh my gosh, it looks big. Oh my god. Yeah, this map is ginormous. Unbelievably big. Alright, welcome to the vault. Here you will find every block in Minecraft safely under lock and key. Not really, it's much more high tech than that. The vault uses a super secret six digit code, which you'll never guess. Now, what was it again? Having looked after Minecraft's block, since day one, I'm getting awfully forgetful. I really should write it up down somewhere. Some three pages, oh, 17. That was quick. And five and nine. All right, let's punch those in, I guess. One, seven, five, and nine. Then where's your, the other two, it's six. 10, right, it's the Minecraft 10 year anniversary, dummy. All right, so this is a little overview of the map. So right now, we are at the vault. And then, so we got mob gardens there. The Museum of Redstone, biodomes it seems, and the Academy to the right. And got those golden apples, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be do. Now I've been down those two other side stairs. And not going there again, I missed everything else. Now, we got this. This, what is this? I've never seen this before. End stone is a block that generates exclusively in the end. Oh wait! This, so this word is like a description of every block in the game. Including fire, which is a bit odd. I don't know why I do fire as well. It's not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary to block, but whatever. You want of air? Are you kidding me? Or is that a barrier block? Let's put the thing back in here. Just keep it all organized. So we're still in the vault. All right. Let's keep moving. So, well, that was just one of down there, I guess. Something. So, it stairs there. We'll go there later once we find out everything about this place. It's got some stairs. Let's head up the stairs. I wonder what's up here. Oh, more blocks. Okay, interesting. Nice. Alright, so we got a lot more blocks. Alright, are we gonna have more blocks higher up or. Yeah, let's just look around here first. 
played something interesting. Plus, there might be the new villager furnaces, which I kind of want to learn about, because I don't know anything about it. The utility blocks, is probably a crafting table, enchantment table, ender chest, that sort of stuff. Don't know why that's there, though. Now, this I don't really know much about. Let's read it. A conduit is a beacon-like block that provides conduit power and attacks hostile mobs underwater within a spherical range of 32 to 96 blocks? What the? That's a lot! A conduit is crafted from 8 Nautilus shells in the heart of the sea. To activate a conduit, it needs to be placed in the, in the center of a 3x3x3 area in, of water, which is then enclosed in an activation frame built from prismarine, dark prismarine, prismarine... Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Conduit power stops the player's breath meter from decreasing, gives underwater night vision and increases underwater mining speed. Conduits also emit a light level of 15, the brightest level in the game? Damn, whether it is activated or not. That is... Wow. I thought they were just like the most useless thing in the game, but... It's not. Or I thought it was like a trophy, at least. Alright, probably more blocks up here. Yep. Oh, these ones are, these ones are old. <laughs> so, not as many here, it seems. But we got quite a few still. And then we got even more here. I still need to get more blocks, though, I guarantee. And this one's still a bit outdated with because of the village update, which is the newest update to Minecraft. Now let's head back down the stairs. So that is history of Minecraft. Alright, let's read it. May 2009, Minecraft is first released. June 2009, multiplayer is launched. January 2010, Minecraft passes 100,000 users. Jeez, that is quick. June 2010, Minecraft passes 20,000 sales. January 2011, Minecraft passes 1 million sales, <laughs> my god! Minecraft, March 2011, Minecraft soundtrack released, okay. July 2011, wait, what do you mean by released? July 2011, Minecraft passes 10 million users, that is a lot. August 2011, first pocket edition alpha released. Nice. <sighs> Yeah, it's playing around that time, I believe. I think it was a little later. Yeah. Maybe. September. November 2011. 4,500 attend first Minecon in Las Vegas. Not bad for the first one. That's, a, that's quite a bit for the first. November 2011. Minecraft Java Edition. Java 1.0.0 is officially released. May 2012. Xbox 360 edition, TU1 released. I think I play. I think I started in 2013 on Xbox 360. Yeah. Ju June 2012, Minecraft Lego set is released. Oh, I have so many of those still. They're actually to my left right now. Yeah. November, November 2012, Minecon 2012 held at Disneyland Paris. Damn. Damn. April 2013, Minecraft passes 10 million sales? Damn. November 2013, Minecraft held at Orlando, Florida. February 2014, Minecraft Realms launch in Scandinavia. <sighs> what the hell is that place? I probably butchered that name. May 2014, okay. Alright. September 2014, Minecraft Acquire. My, Microsoft Acquire. I'm reading so quickly. January 2015, Block by Block Foundation officially formed. What's Block by Block? June 2015, Minecraft passes 20 million sales. July 2015, Minecon takes place in London. That's a big one there. June 2016, 100 million sales across all platforms? That's a lot. 100 million? Gen June 2016, Minecraft is the second best selling game of all time. No, it's first. September 2016, Minecon held at Anaheim, CA. September 2016, Minecon held at... I don't know where I read that. November 2016, Minecraft, Minecraft Education Edition official launch. Ah, I've played that a few times. 
December 2016 Minecraft Story Mode Retail Version released. Story Mode was really fun, I enjoyed that. Minecraft Switch Edition released May 2017. The next, it's weird, it's backwards. April 2017, Minecraft Marketplace launched. Number 20, November 2017, Minecraft Earth live streamed worldwide. Nice. J January 2018, 74 million active players and 144 million sales. That's it. And then in the middle here, it seems like that just got some basic birch trees. Created because by someone because birch trees are not at all. Alrighty. Okay. That was a lot of reading. Okay. Caught my breath. Now let's find the stairs. Where are my stairs down? Where are my stairs? Uh, there they are. Okay. It's just a little opening. Not easy to find. Now let's check out this little area down here. chest and some weird stuff, some little large and block looking things. The biodome. Oh, this place! Yeah. What the? What the? What's that supposed to mean? Is, is this, is this your wine language or something? <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. We'll find out. So with these, can I jump on them? Uh, okay, maybe on that one. What sand one here? How's it not falling? Alright. I'm gonna retry this again. So we're gonna jump here. Okay, maybe. Okay, now I get it. So the square, darker ones that are filled, those are the ones you gotta jump on, get across. Okay, now I get it. So we got this one, this one, next one here, forward I would think, yeah, alright, and then, okay, alright, that's easy, water, yeah, we can catch that, okay, and then this one here, another sandstone slash endstone, I think, yeah, alright, so, we got this, these, I think, and then next, and I think the next one, just double check. Alright. And then, let's see. What? How the hell do I go over it? I cannot go over a, a block. Also, I get, like, a potion leaping or something. Um, what? Okay, oh. Triggering, Jesus. Really? Okay, yeah, well, just. I'm not getting myself triggered over that. Let's get back to that later. Um. Let's head down here now. Whoa. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What is this? Our chest? Let's see. Coach. A hero, Brian? Okay, that's odd. The Academy. Whoa, what the? Alright, so that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Letters, what's... Let's see. Very confused. On your way to the academy, first you'll need to solve these two galactic riddles. You can press the button to get a better view. When you think you've worked it out, head to the giant enchanting table and pull the levers above the two correct items. Hint, you might find the galactic guide useful in your translations. Hmm. Huh. So that's what these are books for. Alright. So the other book is supposed to translate something. I'm translating. Okay, now that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> okay, so I guess I have to translate pretty much everything into English. I don't like this. 
I really do not like this. My god. Oh my gosh. Um Really? Um You know maybe it's possible to wing it? I could try, but it might take forever. Let's look again. Let's see if we can translate maybe. Let's see an A somewhere. Yeah, let's well let's just try winging it. Um so we're gonna head to the enchanting table, we're gonna try winging it. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> um, that was not expected. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, yeah, it doesn't even sum up here. That's insane. It's even more up there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll just be right back. I think. Um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's a lot. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I did it. <laughs> it took me so long. It's so hard. Alright, but now we are here. And what I believe is the Academy. Wait, yeah, it is. Like, that book was the Academy. Alright. So we're here at the academy. I'm like, why is there one door open already? That's odd. Let's we'll see, it's back here. All right, this is a classroom, I guess. Basic classroom. All right, nice. We can make that. It's kind of easy. All right, then we got this hallway and I got some bathrooms. Uh, I like that. I like that ba banners as mirrors. That's smart. Very smart building strategy. Okay, so then we go in here. We got another washroom. Ah, uh, so this leads outside and upstairs. But let's go through this floor first, and I guess this is the same. No, no, wait, this is the cafeteria. All right, and that also leads outside too. But uh, we'll come back out later. So, currently I don't see too much, we've got more outside entrances, and then we got a iron golem looking thing. Hmm. And we've got a view of gigantic bricks. And then we go, okay, that, that was stairs. This is not stairs, can I? No, it doesn't open. All right, cool. Now let's head here. What's this? Education. Wrong button, and there we go, okay. Did you know Minecraft is being used in over, in schools in over 115 countries around the world? What the hell? 35 student, 35 million students and educators have access to Minecraft Education Edition, which uses Minecraft to teach, engage, and inspire children across a huge range of subjects. Visit education.minecraft.net to find out more. Wow. Art and design. I didn't know it was that many. I knew it existed. What it was used for, but that does nothing. Um... I don't know it was used in that many countries for that many people. History and culture there, alright. I guess it's a book about history. Minecraft is perfect for exploring histor historical periods and other cultures. Whether you want to roam the medieval city of Florence, the historic city of Bang Bangadad, or the Battle of Great Fire of London. There's a Minecraft map for that. There is? Hmm, never knew that. Cool. Alright, so guess this is the art and design. Was it your season mega builder? Yeah, whatever. Um So I guess just books on pretty much everything. 
Nah. Let's put the let's put stuff in my inventory. Maybe be useful later. All right. So we are on the right hand side. Okay, and then this is math. All right, nice. Science, I would assume, because I see chemistry things there. The uh, brewing table thingies, what it's called, I forgot what it's called. So science, so math. Then to my left, this looks like computer science, and then we got language arts. Wow, how do they do language arts on in Minecraft? What's the point of that? How do they even do that? Weird. Very weird. Okay, let's exit this area. We're back at the robot, and then... That's the exit, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay, that's where we came from. Before... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, let's head back this way. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's check upstairs. Um, so I guess it's just a normal high schoolish kind of floor. Then we've got a room there. Yeah, nice. Wait, wait, there's a board in that one, but not, okay. All right, I guess that one. That's maybe like one of those uh, those projection screens. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, another classroom, I guess. That's just a little janitor room. Oh, no, wait. It's a bathroom. Okay. Alright, nothing different. Um. Yeah. Just go down here. Back to our iron golem, my friend. Let's see, let's head out. Just have a little look outside. Got a nice statue holding up some water. Alright, I like that. that. That looks nice. <sighs> Alright, nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see if I can get over there. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh shoot. That's not nice. Okay, let's see if I can find a way back up. Apple hanging there. Okay, more bricks. Really nothing here. No way up. Damn it. Um. So I had to use creative mode to come back up here. Unfortunately, I really did not want to do that, but I had to. Um. So yeah, we're not gonna look too much over here. This doesn't look like there's gonna be a way up and oh wait there's little eggs mob eggs I guess because only that and chicken eggs nice and then there's the thing that I hated honestly <sighs> I hate that. I hated that book stupid translation thing the language of enchantment books all right so back in So we got the iron golem. We're just out here. Doesn't look again. I feel like I missed something. I just look for the around our building here, not the other one that looks super amazingly cool. It looks like a place to be underwater. <laughs> okay, nothing too interesting. Just gonna keep moving. And then, yeah, nothing too interesting out here. Okay, and back to the Iron Golem again. Okay, we're there already. Oh, wait, what's that? That wasn't there before, I think. 
see. Whoa, what's the, what's the little mini golems? Yo, what? What's this thing? This little cute thing. What are they? Let's have a look. Robots. Are those little things robots? Okay, time and axe and the control thing. What's that? These little fella fellows are the education education edition code builder robots. They don't normally live in this Minecraft platform, but since it's a special occasion, they have made a special visit. The robots are controlled by the blocks they are walking on. The direction of the arrow shows which direction the robot will move next. You can break the ro break and rotate the green arrows using a pickaxe, but you cannot break the magenta ones. Okay, and then anything else maybe? Let's have a look. It is your task to help guide the robot towards the gold block, which will turn diamond when completed. Complete all four puzzles for your reward. Reward. What could the reward possibly be? It's gonna help these little guys, but the thing is, it's a pickaxe. I got an axe, not pickaxe. Where is it? This is gonna be painful, isn't it? Oh my god. Alright, so proud of okay. I'll read that later. So much reading. <laughs> Alright, let's start doing this. Okay. Let's go from the pass. No, I... You suck. Come on, let's start doing it. Okay. Mining away. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Right there. It's about to break it. So if you stop, okay, good. Oh no! I didn't want you to die. You were annoying, but I didn't want you to die. Oh no! I'm sad. <laughs> okay, so I guess that respawn. Okay, so that's why the other two back there are missing. I thought they were missing earlier. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. Come on, 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 he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, damn it, damn, <laughs> trigger mode 100, <laughs> okay, and we got that one quickly, let's save him, let's save him, oh, just in time, and, oh, damn it, it's going the other way, wrong way, buddy, just, just control, just try control, just try controlling yourself, Okay, please, just, please, just, just stay right there. You suck. So annoying. Why am I helping you, you little poo? You potato poo. Alright, that's, that's my new, that's a new big word. New big word of the year. Potato poo. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna help this guy. Hopefully he's not as annoying. Okay. So this is one little ear. Okay, this one should be easy. Really easy. Nice. Really easy. Break quickly. Save him. And then he should. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. You're right there. You're right there. Yay! <laughs> we did it. God. It's so annoying. Oh no. That's so sad. All right, let's not spawn him back in. Let's complete this first. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I completed that one. Uh, let's just watch him go through it. All right, we got that one. And now for this guy. Let's do it. Let's watch him. And he's got barely a life. <laughs> So sad, buddy. So sad. Okay, we'll be right back. So, yeah, just, just be patient, please. Okay, we're back. We just broke the last one, and... Okay. Let's press the button. Okay. Alright, alright. Come on, <laughs> come on. I have no patience for this. I've been doing this for like, the la last... 
five minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Yes! Finally done! Finally finished the robot minigame. Okay. The reward here, let's see. A bow. A, it looks anniversary golden bow. What? That looks so nice. That looks nice. It just looks, just looks like a normal bow with butter on it. No, not but butter, margarine. Alright, projects in more than 30 countries worldwide. More than 1,000 participants in workshop. Over $6 million raised by block by block. www.blockbyblock.org. Okay, let's see what this, one's, this book's about. So much reading. <laughs> Reduce the reading, please. Block by Block began in 2012 with the radical idea of integrating the, my, com, the computer game Minecraft into public space planning to get community members more involved. A collaboration between Mojang, Microsoft, and Unhabit, Unhabitat, Block by Block allows everyone to, to have a say in the design of their local public space by using Minecraft as a collaborative design tool. After a project location is selected, a three-day workshop is held where community members share and discuss different ideas before building them in Minecraft. These Minecraft designs are then passed on to architects and local authorities who, with the help of Block by Block, build the real-world public space based on the Minecraft model. That is really cool. Wow. So real things built off of Minecraft creation. I like that. I really like that. That's very, very cool. Mm. Let me just act really useful later. Let's keep it in my hotbar. Definitely that bow. Let's put it here. Yeah. No. Maybe the map. Map is good there. Okay. So no blocks anymore. Okay. So now. Some of the block by block project locations. This is only some, not all of them. Okay. So wait, oh, this is a map. Okay, so this is Alexa Canada, kind of. Anaheim. Mexico. Lima. Haiti. Haiti? Really? That place, really? Is that place not very safe. Lokoja. Johannesburg, Manakara, Nairobi. Oh, that, they can't walk through that. M Mogo, Mogadishu, Bear, Barrett, Barrett. I can't pronounce that. I destroyed that name just now. I know it. Mumbai, Kathmandu Valley, Java. Oh, uh, Hanoi, Manila, Java, Java Minecraft Edition. Solomon Islands. So, is Java named after that place? Not very rude, but why? <laughs> All right, so nothing in the corners. <laughs> we got some stairs. Let's see where this goes, and it leads to what's the point of this? Why? There's no point in this. Okay, but um, Wow, so I guess it's just supposed to be meant to see the signs, but you can't really see the signs, but you can see where they are. Not the names of what's written on it now. Is there anything I can do here? Can I go there and maybe get a secret thingy? Alright, um... So, let's get out of here. Okay, let's just keep going, keep going. So wait, oh, that iron golem thing, that's not iron golem. That's the robot thing we just saw. All right, so that makes more sense why it looks so much different. They're ready. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I will see you at the next location that we are gonna go to. Alright, so we are back here at this annoying damn place. I hate this place. Alright, so... 
Where is it? Biodomes. There it is. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so... You know where to start. It's gonna take a little while. Here we go. Keep there. Okay. No, I do not want to lose that book. That will just be bad. I may not be able to complete this thing. Okay. Whew. Okay, so. So we gotta go here. Oh, no, wait, no, sorry. My bad. Uh, there, there. Forward. One more, I believe. Oh no, it's no, it's that way. It's corner. Okay. Okay, let's keep going forward. All right, let's keep going. Just gotta keep going. Another one. And then we're back here again. How do I complete this? Okay. So, let's try. Okay. Uh, maybe... Okay. And... Okay, let's get out. Can I go there? Can I go... If we go back? I'm going back. Oh, so Shoot. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not very nice. Okay, we'll get that. Let's see. Can we get can we get it? Damn it! Okay, we can't get that. So that's not gonna be my friend. Um come on. Damn it, can't get it again. So right now I'm in creative mode as they can as you can probably see, no hearts. Cause <laughs> I don't know how to get this thing. Is there a command? I'm not sure there's a command. Damn it, I can't seem to get it. Alright, so this is probably not gonna be my friend. One last try. Uh up. Oh. oh shoot. Well, um, <laughs> You know, I'll just fill it back up with that, I guess. Um, well, that's gone. Okay, so I had to do a bit of Googling. A bit of cheating, actually, really. It just kind of flew over because there was really no way to do it. So now we're headed up these 5 million sets of, stair of stair uh, uh, stairs. And then we are. Oh my god. What is this? Okay, diamond shovel, diamond shovel, and this. Okay, plants can't live without them. There is a reward waiting for any traveler who can find these ones. Poppy, dandelion, melon, carrots, lily pad, beetroots, nether wart, red mushroom, cores, fruit, and rose bush. Let's see what's on the next page. Just about now. This hanging shovel will help you harvest. Yes, if you're looking for plants from another dimension, why not have a swim in the village fountain? Okay. Let's get to it. Let's start looking. Okay. So, those. So, I have to go find things that would go in those empty spaces. So, puppy dandelion. So, lily pads right here. Nice. Let's get a lily pad. Okay, good lily pad. So now it's gonna be there automatically. Don't place it. Okay. Got a poppy here. Let's get that poppy. What else do we need? 
dandelion. Okay, yes, yes, we're making progress. Yeah, um, I, mm, let's keep going. Um, carrots. Let's get let's get themselves some carrots. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back later with the other stuff before we go to the downstairs dimension. Okay. Got a majority of the stuff. Got melons, pretty much got everything now. What's so got left is nether wart and coarse fruit. Okay. Let's close you up. Yeah, I don't think it's a very safe idea to do. It seems this goes into the void, so I guess it's the way out. So let's head downstairs. Alright, so while we're going down, I don't know how long how long it's going to take, um, so previous video I mentioned about Apex Legends, yeah we're going to replace that with a newer game called Dauntless by Epic Games, creators of Fortnite, heard a lot of great things about the game, it's like Dark Souls and GTA kind of in one, sounds fun, looks fun, so we're probably going to be replacing Apex with that game. And, uh, okay, finally. I thought I was getting a bit worried. Are we still going to keep going down? Alright, let's do this. So, let's head to my left. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably about the end. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe the, but, maybe the end, but it's it, but it isn't the end. The end is just a dark space, like dimension floating in the void. Suppressed access, whatever. I don't care. Let's get moving. Let's get this over with. Okay. So those things, I don't think they'll attack. I'm pretty sure. So, okay. Let's head to one of these tree things where you get the coarse fruits. And then. Oh, okay. I'm not expecting the whole tree come down. I'm not expected at all. Okay, so let's go again. Oh, oh, okay. Um, what the hell is happening to me? What? Oh wait, it's tell. Okay, so this is a course route from the low and it's teleporting me to the closest one. Okay. That is okay. They are gonna shoot at me. Okay, that's not nice. That's not very nice. Very mean. Okay. So yeah, let's got it. Should be up there now. Let's go to the Nether. Which I'm a bit worried about. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! We have the skeletons. Okay, let's move. Those guys are bad. Just bad news and all blaze. Damn it! Damn it! I'm surround. Oh my gosh! I'm surrounded. Okay, climb, up, climb, 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 climb up, climb up, climb up, climb up. Get as high as possible. Okay, okay, stay away, stay away from me, stay the hell away from me, no, no, stay back, I, I, you, you want to stay back right now, stay back, stay back, get away, get away, get away from me, get away from me, I don't know what you do me, you little poopy head, get away from me, get the hell away from, ugh, damn it, okay, we're back, we're gonna go for round two, oh shoot, one right here, really? The axe, the axe does more, more damage, so it does work on them. Nice. Okay, so gonna attack them. Okay, so we were here, so let's get to it. All right, those wither skeletons are somewhere. So now I gotta watch my back. Gotta watch my every move. One wrong little move that could ruin everything. Okay, that blaze. Alright. So, um, yeah. This is gonna be a little bit. Because this is gonna be quite the journey. Okay, climb. Come on, 
on, let's keep moving, keep moving. Let's get away from those wither skeletons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, higher. Damn it, damn it, stop. I keep going down. Alright, up. Okay, and I wasn't being followed the whole time. Just heard them from that structure, probably. Okay. Let's head up higher. Okay. Got there. Side there. And. Oh, missed. Okay, let's try this side. Um. And one, two, three. Ugh. Didn't make it. Okay, let's go find myself some. Get myself out of here without being killed. Alright. Uh, where could they be? Oh, shoot. Surrounded. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me find one. Alright, so unfortunately, I kind of had to do a bit of cheating. Because for some reason, it wasn't spawning. And wait, why is it not. Okay, so something despawned for some reason. Alright, let's go find out. Um, yeah, they, there was like no nether war anywhere. Searched, couldn't find it, so I had to go and create it once again. And yeah. And there we go! Okay, we're done! Oh god! <laughs> oh, that scared me. <laughs> Kinda jumped out of my seat. <laughs> A little bit. God, why would they use that sound? Out of all sounds, how'd be that sound? Okay. Anything up here? What well, looks like no. Yeah, I don't think so. Nothing too interesting. Okay, and let's drop down. Okay, just gotta keep moving. Let's get this done. Okay, so we're back here at the gigantic eggs, aka where we started. Now it's open. It took me a while to get here, because I had to go through a whole bunch of places. Uh, so now we're here at these gigantic eggs. See what's in it. Mob gardens. Head to the mob gardens. You'll need to solve the riddle of the eggs first. Three of these eggs contain levers which open the gate to the mob gardens. It's up to you to find out which here are some clues to get you started. Number one, play a jingle and I'll flap and wriggle, but don't feed me chocolate my, for my kind is toxic. Okay. Number two, roses are red, violets are blue. Give me a hug and I'll hug you back. Boom! It went big boom. Probably a creeper there. First one sounds like slime because toxic. Slime. Sounds toxic-ish. Yeah. And then the third one, they travel in hauntings, and are most certainly taunting. These tall chaps will disappear in a snap. That is definitely Enderman. Tall, Enderman. Snap, disappear, snap, Enderman. Okay, one, two, three. Alright, all of them. We did it, okay. Alright. May not look like it took that long. But that took a very long time to be for me to do. <sighs> All right. So now we're in the mob gardens. I guess this is just the exterior. Other side, the same. And then now we're inside. All right, and whoa, 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 that's a lot of woes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <sighs> scared me a little bit. Jeez, okay, got zombie pigman, enderman, spider, along with spider. Zombie pigman, so I guess, kind of like 
the the vault just for mobs and animals of course Did it damage you nope okay cute cute then we got to the spider's cousin the cave spider that's poisonous then we got a wolf there is that tamed or is that not tamed i cannot tell all right then we got the got a polar bear and a llama llama <laughs> and then what's this oh a dolphin okay i guess it died or glitched despawned i'm not sure all right and then we got oh what's the, what are you little guy oh is that mrs puff that's Mrs. puff okay that's definitely Miss puff oh my okay um Weird. Okay, so we got Mew Villager. Let's see a skeleton horse. Yep, skeleton horse right there. Cool. Skeleton horse. And I think it's a parrot there. We've got salmon, sheep, cow, squid, turtle. Don't know a lot of those guys. Let's read about it. Turtle. Okay. Turtles are common passive mobs that can survive both on land and in water. They typically spawn on the overworld on beaches, but not in snowy variants or on stone shores. Turtles will follow a, a player holding seagrass. Two turtles are fed seagrass. They will enter love mode. One of the turtles will hold an egg in its inventory and make its way back to its home beach. A turtle's home beach is where it's where it originally hatched or spawned. Once it returns home, it will find a sand block to lay one to four eggs on. Turtle eggs will undergo three stages before they hatch into baby into baby turtles. Baby turtles can only hatch at night at, if their eggs are on sand. If you use the silk touch tool on turtle eggs, you can relocate the turtle eggs and effectively set their home beach wherever you want. All right, that is actually really useful. When the baby turtle grows up into its adult form, it drops one scoot. When killed, an adult turtle will drop zero to two sea pieces of seagrass. Really? Why not a turtle shell? Or something else useful? That's just torture. Kids play this game, why would you do that? Come on, Microsoft, come on. Okay, we got a horse donkey to my right. Okay, that's all the pressure plates that do something. A parrot and a bat. Wait, what's the thing way down there at the other end? Weird. Ocelot. Rabbit. Chicken. And then we got the villager again. So, if that was... Weird. So if that was a parrot, then what, the, what was that other thing I saw? Very odd. Very, very weird. Yeah, I'm very sorry for this video being so long. Very sorry for that. I got zombie villager, creeper, witch. Do something to my left. Elder guardian. And then we got a shulker in a box. Magma cube. And we got oh, mounted skeleton horse. Whoa! What the? What is that? I've never seen that before. Yo, what? What is that? Okay. The giants are bigger than that. Old giant zombie thing, and there's war zombie there too. I see a blaze, and I saw a blaze in the corner. Cute, cute, cute. And yeah, really cool. So, oh, it's a phantom. That's what it was. Okay, I've heard of them about about the phantoms, but I never knew what it really looked like. Cool.
right. So unfortunately, I did end up skipping the redstone place. Uh, you can check that out for yourselves. Um, yeah, can you go up there? Any higher? No. Yeah, because this video was already, like, I looked at how much time it was recorded. <laughs> it's ridiculously long. It's still quite long right now. And there we go. Okay. Well, I guess it's the right time to end it off. So, um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to the bell icon. Play some Minecraft. It is cost money or you can use t-launcher to download it for free play this map it's also free actually on both java and bedrock edition 10 years of minecraft